Hey techies, today I have a pretty cool video. It's on two different apps, which I haven't done an app review in like the longest time. And one of them is called Giphy Keys and the other one is called GIF Keyboard. They're both GIF apps that attach to your keyboard stock on your iPhone. And you can use it on many apps. You can use it on Snapchat, you can use it on Twitter, your messaging app on your iOS phone, whatever app it may be, a GIF Keyboard is probably gonna work if you add it to um, your settings area. There's two main ones that I'm gonna be going over today because they're sort of the popular ones right now and they have one main big difference. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same, but one thing sort of sets one apart from the other. Giphy Keys actually started off from a company called Giphy and they're super huge right now. They started off with just a website with a database full of GIFs and they saw that people also wanted it available on their phone and just wanted to make it more accessible. So they came up with an app earlier this month of May called Giphy Keys, which again, attaches to your keyboard as a global hotkey and you can just use it within any app. And the other one I'm gonna be going over today is called GIF Keyboard. GIF Keyboard has been around for a little bit longer than Giphy Keys, but they, as I said before, have one really main big difference, which actually might make the decision for you on which app to use even clearer. I already know which one I like, but definitely stay tuned for the rest of this video to find out which one I prefer and also see which one you'll prefer after watching these next clips. The two main apps for this quick video on GIF keyboards are GIF Keyboard and GIFI Keys. Both are available on iOS and Android and links to download both will be down below. A cool tidbit if you didn't know, both these GIF search engines are partnered with Twitter to supply GIFs on their platform. So I added both to a folder on my iPhone titled GIFs. Let's open that up and enter the GIF keyboard by RIFC. Both apps will give you an intro on installing this keyboard in your settings. I would definitely read through these instructions for those of you that haven't added a keyboard to your smartphone yet. It's really quite simple, just go into settings, general, keyboard, and add keyboard. Remember to allow for full access or else the keyboard option will not be available. Right away, you will notice the GIF option for the GIF keyboard on your iPhone's global key. To utilize GIF keyboard, you must switch into it by tapping the global key and it will populate. It's simple to navigate and to search through. You'll be presented with some popular and quick hashtag categories. Clicking into any of these will allow you to choose from a number of animated GIFs related to that hashtag. I really thought this was a neat addition to the experience and it made sharing GIFs super easy. You can also search and paste GIFs with just a few taps or even upload your own GIF to send to friends. GIF Keyboard also has a Mac app available, but I do believe that more users would rather use GIFs on mobile unless you're possibly using Slack with your team. Overall, I enjoy the look and feel of GIF Keyboard, but having to switch out from the iOS keyboard to search for GIFs is an added step that can be avoided if you use Giphy Keys. Giphy Keys takes the same couple of steps to set up. Again, remember to allow for full access on the keyboard app. First, let's try Giphy out on Twitter. As I mentioned earlier, Twitter partnered with both of these and you can access their GIFs directly by tapping the GIF icon next to the camera icon when composing a tweet. Let's type out a tweet. And in this, I'm going to use the Magic 8-Ball feature on Giphy Keys, which is actually pretty awesome. Just as you would with the actual Magic 8-Ball, you can ask Giphy a question and it will respond with the GIF answer. Just tap the hashtag 8-Ball option and ask away. Now here's that one thing that sets Giphy Keys apart from other GIF keyboards and the GIF keyboard app that I'm reviewing today. Using my iPhone, I have my default keyboard in place, and by adding the Giphy Keys keyboard, it doesn't take away from the typing experience I am used to. Giphy Keys gives you the access to the keyboard and the GIF search abilities at the same time. This is why I prefer Giphy Keys over the GIF keyboard, and it might also be the same reason you will too. The only con that I found to Giphy Keys is that for some reason, autocorrect does not work, even if you have it turned on, but you do get predictive text. So that's sort of a personal preference there. In all, I would say Giphy Keys does offer really easy navigation when scrolling through and searching GIFs, as well as there's a GIF category section and a favorite section where you can add your top used GIFs for easy access. 
So there you have it. That was the comparison between the Gift Keyboard app and Giphy Keys. And you also saw which one I prefer, which is actually Giphy Keys. Even though it's sort of newer, I do enjoy that I have full access to my keyboard as well as access to the GIF feature of Giphy Keys within the same page. And if you didn't know, GIFs are pretty big right now. John from Daily Booth, he actually started this thing where he's actually posting GIFs every day, once a day at a certain time on a Tumblr page. And that Tumblr page accumulates all of his GIFs that he just uploads directly from Giffer, which is another GIF creating app. And I'm actually trying that out right now. So if you wanna go ahead and follow my GIFs every day, I just started so I only have about four different GIFs. I'll leave a link to that down below to my Tumblr page where you can also keep up with GIFs. And I would recommend you guys to try it out. It's actually a really cool concept to sort of keep different memories of your day and fun things you do in one single page. So I'll leave a link to John's article on medium.com down below. So you can check out sort of the apps that he uses for his workflow, which is Giffer, and then he uses Tumblr. On top of that, Google just released an app called Gboard, which is very similar to these GIF keyboards that I was showing, but it also has some extra features added to it. And I'll be making a video on that very soon, just going over a few of my favorite features and how I use it. So I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you liked this video down below. Give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one.